Alright everybody, what is up? It is Funk TZ and I got a Black Ops gameplay here on Crisis, I believe, or Cracked, I'm not sure. Uh, not really pay attention to that, but yes, I got a Black Ops gameplay and it's nothing special, 22 and 4, I don't know, don't care, but I just got a topic that I wanted to talk about. Everybody has done gone and lost their minds as I shoot his mind out of his shoulders. Uh, yeah, man, everybody just gone crazy. Things have been getting crazy. I think, matter of fact, everybody's been lost their minds is what I should title this. Because just, I say for the last years and years, we have just been dealing with so much crazy stuff. We got ba uh, parents leaving their babies in the car. We got airplanes disappearing. We got folks just killing their spouses, their children. I mean, it's, what's going on? Is this the end of days? Is this is this the rapture? Is this what, what God was talking about? It's just going to get worse before it gets any better. It's going to get really, really worse before it gets any better. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, uh, there. I just doesn't seem like there's a remedy for this. It's just part of our society, part of our uh, our persona as human beings. That's just what we do. And it's, just, it's so hard to... It's so hard to understand that concept. Be, be that it may, that that's what it is, and that's just how it is. Uh, it's just hard to understand that because it's like you, you want to respect people and, and 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 let them know that you care, and you know it just it it's just not about that. I mean, goddamn, a guy killed his his wife and kid. Like, what is what is that? Like, how mad could you? possibly be to do something like that or what did she do or what I mean what did the kid even do to deserve a an outcome like that I mean just deserve anything like that Shit, I feel bad when I even have to yell at my kids let alone put hands on them and say you know I mean you know I'm from the old school my you know I'm, I'll be th I'm 32 years old and I mean shoot man an ass whooping was just something that was coming to you, but, you know, you probably deserved it from the things we were doing, but, I mean, nowadays, like, shit, what are the parents leaving their kids in the car to, for, for a disciplinary action, let them roast, let them cook in there like a freaking turkey, I mean, like, come on, now, what, what is the point of that, why, what could a kid have possibly done, and, and, you know, just, just folks are losing their minds nowadays, and I don't know if it's just a, a lack of care, or just bad parents, I mean, obviously bad parents, but I mean, like, to use that as some sort of disciplinary thing, and I, and I have the link in the description to what I'm talking about, um, a lady left her child in a, in a Home Depot parking lot, or some crazy stuff like that, um, because the kid wasn't listening, you know, I mean, what I do, if my kids ain't listening, I'm at a Home Depot or a grocery store, and I got, I got the Kung Fu grip for them, right to the, right to the shoulder, you know, the kid will buckle down to the knees, and he'll just be like, oh, okay, I'm done, I'm done, you don't need to let him cook in a car, that's just, that's unnecessary, it's, it's just unnecessary, you don't need to do it, but, you know, um, just, just everything that's just going on right now, it's just mind-boggling to me, I read the news, I read the news too much, I think, personally, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's bad, I read, I watch the news, read the news so much, I, I always wonder back in the day, my, my grandmother, she used to just sit there and watch CNN and, and yeah, just any any news station she could find. She would just sit there and watch it all day long while I'm up there watching Ninja Turtles on a Saturday morning. She's got the news running. And I'm just, I always thought like, Mom, why you, why you watch so much news? And she told me she likes to be informed, you know. And, and being informed nowadays is really good. I mean, that's just, it's just good to be in that position of your life and to understand why the things tick the way they talk. The why the things are the way they are, and um, it, that's a good thing, you know. Unfortunately enough, everything in the news it's always bad, and I mean that's just what I what I'm talking about. It's just always bad. It's always negative. You rarely ever hear good things in the news. Um, I mean that could put you to sleep, you know. I, I go to sleep with nightmares watching the ten o'clock news sometimes, you know. It's just like just thinking of all that bad stuff that happened to people and how crazy our society has gotten to where. You know, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like you don't even want to do anything. And mind you, uh, I'll be gone this weekend. I'm going down to San Diego. And my, I'm from California, Sacramento, California. I'm going down to San Diego, down south, to take my boys 
out to Legoland. We're going to be uh, having a good time. And that's another thing. I like to do stuff, but man, all this news and shit, there is something that happened down in San Diego. But all this news that's going on, it's almost like, do I want to do this? Well, I'm not sure. You know, it's I might drive halfway down there and get shot by somebody driving down the highway. You never know. But... I mean, you can't let that stop you from having fun. So, yeah, we're going to take the boys, me and the wife, my mom. We're going to take the boys down to Legoland, uh, San Diego, California. Enjoy ourselves. we got a whole weekend planned out. Uh, this is for the boys' birthday. Um, you know, we're just going to have some fun, you know. And that's just that's just what it's about. You know, you can't live in fear. You can't worry about what's going to happen to you. Even though there's a lot of crazy shit happening uh, you just can't do it, and you know, but that's just, I mean, you gotta have that in, instilled in your mind, and everybody really has done lost their minds, um, like I said, from parents leaving kids in the car, from, from folks shooting airplanes down, commercial airlines, to, on top of that, I mean, God, you can't, you know, you can't even go on a trip anymore, and my, this wasn't another country, but still, you can't go on a trip without getting shot down by a freaking ground-to-air missile, I mean, come on now. Do I have to really worry about, if I wanted to go across country, do I have to really worry about getting shot down by a ground-to-air missile from some military? Like, come on, that, how bad is that where you just don't feel like you can even do anything? And, um, there was another story I was watching on CNN. This guy was supposed to be, you know, the, I'm sure we all know about the Malaysia Air, the Airlines, uh, the one not too long ago that just suddenly disappeared. This is old news, I'm sure you've all heard of it. Uh, suddenly disappeared. And then uh, this other one just got shot down, a commercial airline um, flying over from uh, Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur or something. You know, these are a lot of people on vacation having a good time, you know, and they're flying through hostile territory and they get shot down. You know, do I really have to worry about something like that if I ever wanted to go out of the state, out of the country and just go enjoy myself and have a good time? Obviously, yes, because that's what's happening. You know, Malaysia is not having a good run with their air flight, their, with their flights. And uh, I feel bad for the people, but yeah, aside from that, there was these, this guy, he was supposed to be on both of those flights, and for some reason, for some reason, he just happened to change his flight number. Because, well, the reason was he had a layover in uh, wherever he was uh, leaving from, and uh, he just happened to change his flight both times. And... I mean, that's got to be some lucky some lucky stuff. So I don't know if that guy's a psychic or what, but um, big ups to him. Good. I mean, that's just guy. It's just lucky as hell. You, you don't get no better than that. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Everybody that lost their mind, just try and keep your head on your shoulders and don't be crazy. And that's the game play. This is Funk Teasy. I'm out.